Now to the growing tensions between the United States and Iran over that country's nuclear program, as well as accusations that it's supporting Iraqi insurgents. As David Martin reports tonight, the U.S. military is ready to send an unmistakable message to the Iranians. A second American aircraft carrier steamed into the Persian Gulf today as the Pentagon ordered military commanders to develop new options for attacking Iran. New pictures of Iran's uranium enrichment plant show the country's defense minister in the background, as if deliberately mocking a recent finding by U.S. intelligence that Iran had ceased work on a nuclear weapon. Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad arrived in Pakistan on Monday for a brief visit in which the two countries were expected to discuss Afghanistan and a pipeline project opposed by the United States. Ahmadinejad met Pakistani President Pervez Musharraf and Prime Minister Raza Gilani. A key subject at their meeting is expected to be the pipeline, which Pakistan and India are considering building to import natural gas from Iran. It would run 2,615 kilometers from Iran to India through Pakistan and would initially carry 60 million cubic meters of gas a day. When the invasion of Afghanistan was complete, we installed its new president, Hamid Karzai. Who was Hamid Karzai? He was a former advisor to UNICAL. Bush also appointed as our envoy to Afghanistan, Zalmay Khalizad, who was also a former UNICAL advisor. I guess you can probably see where this is leading. Faster than you can say black gold, Texas Tea, Afghanistan signed an agreement with their neighboring countries to build a pipeline through Afghanistan carrying natural gas from the Caspian Sea. And who got a Caspian Sea drilling contract the same day Unical signed the pipeline deal? A company headed by a man named Dick Cheney, Halliburton. From the point of view of the U.S. government, this was kind of a magic pipeline um, because it could serve so many purposes. According to Cheney, the biggest threat is Iran. And it's no wonder with respect to this pipeline, because the Iranians have their own rival proposal to lay uh, a pipeline, an LNG pipeline, either in the shallow coastal waters of the Arabian Sea or along a, a very short land route um, along the coast of uh, the Arabian Sea. And it, th it would thus provide uh, entree into the market in India. Well, former Chevron director and handmaiden to the oil interests, our United States Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, uh, would have none of this. Uh, and this proposal, this proposal, was a terrible threat to the American energy interests. India is likely to sign the gas pipeline deal with Iran in the next four to five weeks. In an exclusive interview to NDTV, Petroleum Minister Murli Deora said India has managed to resolve most differences with Iran and that there is no pressure from the U.S. not to go ahead. He met with the Iranian minister on the sidelines of the Jeddah Oil Summit. It was an unscheduled meeting, but one that has clearly yielded positive results. Mr. Deora was talking to NDTV's Shweta Rajpal Kohli. India has revived talks with Iran on the Iran-Pakistan-India pipeline. We have with us the Petroleum Minister Murli Deora. So how was the outcome of the bilateral talks with Iran? We just had a meeting with the Ira uh, Iran's oil minister. And uh, it's not a revival. The talks are continuing. There were some minor problems which are sorted out. There were some issues with Pakistan that has been taken care of. Unfortunately, the Pakistan ministry changed now. So uh, we are to deal with the new minister who is going to deal with it. And uh, very soon we should be able to sign the agreement between Pakistan and Iran. But in a news conference with local reporters, McCain misspoke in the way he accused Iran of fomenting violence in Iraq. Common knowledge and has been reported in the media that, uh, that Al-Qaeda is going back into Iran and receiving training and are coming back into Iraq from Iran. Except that Al-Qaeda in Iraq is largely Sunni and Iran's government is largely Shia. The two sects have feuded for centuries. After a whispered reminder from Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman, McCain immediately corrected himself. I'm sorry, the Iranians are, are training extremists 
Yeah. Not Al Qaeda. He's, he's, a, he's a person who's now been marginalized. So I, I don't know where he is. Nor do, you know, I just don't spend that much time on him. I'll be honest with you. Didn't spend much time on him? What kind of president was he? I'm a war president. I make decisions here in the Oval Office uh, in foreign policy matters with war on my mind.